Let's start. First person I saw was Renee. Renee, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. So having having a good day so far? Yes, it's beautiful. It's warm. Uh, yeah, it's been, it's, a, it's a good Friday. Where do you live? I am right now in Riggins, Idaho. Okay, nice. It's I a, go to Boise every once in a while. Is that close? Yeah. Uh, about, about three hours. It's a river town up, up north. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. So <clears throat> where, where are you at? What has, what has led us to this coaching? Where, where are you at? How you, how you doing? Um, well, uh, just recently, well, June, I guess the end of June, um, I was working and my employer friend, um, decided that, um, she didn't like me giving notice and uh, kicked me out of the office and then evicted me. So I'm living in a camper and um, trying to make so the let me, best of let it. Let me understand this. So mm -hmm. this was a friend of yours that you were working for and also was your landlord? Is that what you... Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And so so you gave notice. What was the plan there? You You're now... Like what, what made you give notice? What was the plan? So um, she was a little verbally, she was just, to me, it was, it was a tough situation and I didn't want to, you know, lose our friendship. So, um, you know, she kind of verbally attacked me on, on text and I decided that it just wasn't working out. I wanted to give my notice. Um, still, you know, still be friends. I said, let's talk. And an hour later, she kicked. I was working in real estate, and she kicked me out of the office. Told me basically to get out. And then three days later, she gave me a notice to vacate the home that I was actually going to eventually buy from them. So, very interesting situation. And she, you had been paying to live there. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, just I mean, I, I don't know the landlord laws, but. That's not normally how it works. So she probably couldn't legally have done that, just so you're aware. But well, in Montana, yeah, in Montana laws, um, we didn't have a lease. It was month to month, so they legally will were able to give me a 30 day notice. Okay. Now with the eviction moratorium, with the pandemic, I could have yeah. fought it a little bit, but at that point, yeah. I didn't want to give them any of my money, so I decided okay. to. What, yeah. What was your plan? So. First of all, I just want to acknowledge you for having the self-worth to say, hey, I'm not going to be your punching bag anymore. And mm -hmm. so good for you. What what was the plan, though? Like, how were you going to, to make money? Um, well, I've always wanted to build a business in network marketing. Um, yeah. But I've always <clears throat> held on to a job because that's my security. And um, I worked in, a, I, I was in a small resort town in Montana and uh, I was going to work at a restaurant, which is always my right. easy thing to do. To get, like go back to or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, gotcha. And so where, where are you at? now like so now how, how long ago did this happen uh i started in living in my camper july 15th okay so you've been focused on your network marketing business how is that going where are we at there uh not so great because i tend to make excuses or procrastinate or i'm not consistent um I think a lot of it is just not belief that I can do it. And so I start on it and, and then I don't, you know, and, and so I'm, I'm literally going broke because mm -hmm. um, I said, okay, here I am. I'm, there's no excuses. Let's do this business. And I, for six weeks, I haven't been doing my business. Hmm. Do you know why that is? Do you know why, what is it that, what conclusion are you drawing? Like what, why do you have, what are you afraid of or what are you resisting? You know, that's the hardest question that I ask myself. I, I, you know, I try to think, okay, so when I was in my, when I was in a company years ago, my kind of my first company, um, I was gung ho. I was on fire. I saw the vision. I was, you know, I was hitting ranks and then, <clears throat> one of my my whole 
side, you know, binary, my whole side dropped off because one of my friends or well, business partners said um, that I was too pushy. I was, you know, um, I made, you know, I, they weren't me and they, she quit and took her whole side. And, and it was one of those things where I was like, well, maybe I was, I just was new. I didn't know what I was doing. And it, it took the wind out of my sails. And I, I feel like I haven't had that passion since then. And is that it? I don't know. You know, I mean, maybe I don't have belief. People tell me that maybe I don't, um, I think that I'm not, um, I'm afraid to be successful or, I mean, there's people throw out things all the time in my, in, you know, as mentors, but I don't know. I mean, maybe beliefs. So look, so looking back, I mean, you, in this short conversation, you've given me two examples of friends betraying you. Do you have a, have there been examples prior to that? Oh yeah. I have a, um, I have a tendency to attract um, very strong people and, um, and then tend to get, you know, they're, they're not the right people for me. So this, uh, you just said something very, very powerful. It's unfortunately powerful because you just made a declaration. You made a declaration that I tend to attract powerful people that aren't good for me. And as long as you hold on to that, then you know that what's at the other end of that is pain, because that's what you've had to experience, right? The pain of loss, the pain of, of feeling bad or feeling stupid, the pain of having to move all your stuff and get in a camper and, and all these things. And so um, step one, and I'm, and I'm willing to bet that this started really young. Can you recall a friend betraying you when you were young? Uh, probably my family, like my father leaving when I was, you know, five or four, you know, um, I I didn't have the best uh, family life. My mother was married about six times. So those people that I loved came in and then left and came in and left. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Um, I definitely but- think it does. I Mm definitely, I definitely think it does. I think the, the associate, I mean, thank you for, for being so open because sometimes this is much harder, but the association of, you know, powerful people that aren't right for me, the association of six marriages your mom had where, you know, and, and your father. So like over and over and over from the age of four or five, all the way up to now, you're literally your entire life. You have, you've observed this pattern that has become a belief that has become your reality of, you know, yes, I can attract people or I can get strong people or whatever, but at the end of the day, they're just going to hurt. They're just going to hurt me. And so you may be at a point in your life where you're like, you know what, I'm sick of hurting. So I just don't want to do it. How does that resonate with you? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm at that point. <laughs> I really am. I'm at that point where it's just like, yeah. If if, if I know, if I know hurt is the end result, then why the hell am I doing this? Have you ever thought that? Yes, because I mean, just as we were talking, I, I, I'm attracted to those people, maybe because I don't, I'm not. I don't think that I can be the strong person in that relationship or whatever, or so, um, so yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, you know, it, this is, this is pulling out some things, you know, in my head that, that even though I kind of knew it's, um, eye opening and stuff, but, um, yeah, I, I see that I do that whole, so, the the shift the shift would happen so let's let's just step let's step we've been in emotion let's step into information mm-hmm. you know what to do you've right. done it you know what to do mm-hmm. right so that's we don't need to focus our efforts um, on okay I want you to do this and this and this because you you right. know what to do you know what would work you know you could do it mm-hmm. um, and so you know just just to address that right. Um, Because if you didn't know, if you'd never done it, then we would have to have that discussion. Do you know what it takes? You know what it takes. And so 
step one of changing anything is to first change your language. And the most, the, the big, the declaration that you made, I tend to attract. So you attract what you believe to be true, not what you want. So you attract what you believe to be true and you're proving yourself right all the time. And that's not just you, that's all of us. So mm -hmm. if, if I think that I attract bad business partners, that's, I'm gonna prove myself right every time. And, and even, if that, even if that person doesn't initially intend on being a bad business partner, I'll figure out something that deems them a bad business partner. Like, oh, they said this, when maybe they didn't even say that. That's how crazy we are, all of us. Right. <laughs> the thinker thinks the prover proves. And so step one is to, to change your language. That's not the only step, but it's the first step. And so in your situation, I, my suggestion to you is your, your affirmation to start with is in the past, I used to believe, or up until now, I used to attract powerful people that would end up hurting me. I'm so grateful it's getting better and better. Okay. Now, this is a statement. It's not a super bold statement. Like, I'm amazing at attracting perfect people because you won't believe that. Right. Am I right? Yeah. And so, and someone just posted this for me. I was, I was actually going to reference it. But when your feeling is in conflict with your wish, the feeling will be the victor. This is why most people don't think affirmations work is they'll say, I'm so happy I'm a millionaire, but they don't believe it. So it, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't help anything. They don't see any kind of movement at all. And so if you just said, I'm so happy I'm attracting perfect people for me, you probably would struggle to believe that. Your feeling would be stronger than your wish. It wouldn't work. And so to acknowledge in the past or up until now, I've attracted people that didn't do me, you know, wasn't the best for me. I'm so grateful it's getting better. And so this is an easing in of how of helping things get better. And are you are you in our life for program? Mm -hmm. OK, yeah. so yeah. what are did you watch the first or mm -hmm. did you attend or watch the first recording? I did. Yes. So what have been your two wishes then? Um, my my first wish is um, that I uh, want to be or I am gold um, in our business. Uh, and the typing it in is just the excitement <clears throat> of after three years in this company, finally, I finally hit, um, the rank of gold, you know, and, and that's been my goal, you know, ever since, um, and how, yeah. and how, and have you really dialed in? How does it feel to be gold? I'm trying because I think the biggest part of my my problem, I guess, or issue is just belief. And so I'm having now that's another just just so you're aware, because I because I'm 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 like, you know, border patrol or something, right? <laughs> I catch people's language like crazy. I recognize it immediately. They yeah. don't, right? So you just said, I believe my issue I, I believe my issue is belief. And as long as you believe that, you're going to prove yourself right. Right. So yeah. you can choose to no longer believe that's the problem. Right. And so in the past, I thought that my belief was the problem, but I'm so I'm so grateful it's getting better and better. So we have we have all these 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 hooks into our past. We have all yeah. these chains, these these things that are weighing us down and, and taking our energy away. And, and it's, and we're just so addicted to just easily spitting them out. I think it's my belief. Well, as long as you think it's your belief, you'll never break that belief. Right. As long as, you, as long as you believe that to be true, it has to be true. It can't not be, you know, I think that only right-handed people can have success. Well, as long as I believe that, right, then, you know, I'm, I'm right-handed. So that's a bad example, but you get my point. <laughs> yes. And so you, you have to look at what are my still attachments to the past me? Because this is about, this is really creating a new person mm -hmm. because we can't, we can't, we can't stay that old person and become something completely transformed. You know, the, the butterfly doesn't say, you know what? I really like that tail though. That caterpillar tail is really cool. Like, let me hold on to that thing. No, it transforms. You don't, mm -hmm. you just, 
right? It's like, that was a caterpillar. Like it doesn't even look like it. That's what we're going for. We're going for complete transformation here. And so we have to, we have to become guardians of our language and our feelings and, and say, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I almost said that. Mm, let me, let me say it a different way. And so you start to observe versus be on autopilot. So he, even with, you know, with me on here, you're so used to saying, I think it's my belief. You just, you just said it without even thinking about it. Right. So we have to learn to observe what are we creating? What are we bringing into our reality? What do we believe is true? Does it serve us or not? And if it doesn't, we got to change it. We got to change it. We got to either eradicate it or, or change it. And the beginning is usually just change it, change it to in the past, I believed, or up until now, I believed mm -hmm. I'm so happy it's getting better because that eases you into a different experience. And so like this is you saying, you know, you focus and feeling good about your two wishes, but you so nonchalantly say, you know, that it, it negates them. It negates right. them and wipes them out. Right. And yeah. so. Yeah. I mean, everything that you're saying has brought back <clears> all the <throat> things that I say to myself when I'm trying to yeah. build the business is why would I'm not successful? So why would anybody believe me and you know oh this person is so excited about it but they're probably not going to call back you know things like that and it, it's yeah it's just amazing yes my my what i say to myself to bring yeah. me down i used to be way up here when i first started and then i just slowly yeah. got to disbelief yeah so know that your subconscious is like an attentive lover and and so if if you're if you're going to your attentive attentive lover and saying um hey you know i really like it when you talk down to me the attentive lover will say all right well you suck <laughs> right <laughs> and so the attentive lover it's paying attention to what you're putting out and giving you more of that back and so if you're saying to the attentive lover, um, you know, I see myself as successful, the attentive lover will start buying you motivational posters, will start, you know, letting you experience things that make you actually feel better. And that's actually the programming of the subconscious. That's, you know, when, you know, our, our feelings and emotions, we are imprinting on the subconscious and saying, this is what I want more evidence of. This is what I want more proof of. Please show me this attentive lover. And, and that's and it's like, okie doke. And it doesn't draw right or wrong. It's not like, no, no, no. I don't think you des I don't think you need that Renee. Let me give you something better. It'll never do that ever. It will only give you what it believes you want and what you're focused on and where your energy and attention is. And so it's going to show you more proof. Let me show you another betraying friend. Let me show you another strong person. Watch out for this one, right? It's, it's going to keep, you know, showing up for you. And so it starts in our language of being guardians of our language and pinpointing that and, and paying attention to our feelings. You know, um, I know like, you know, use Jess, for example, if, you know, there was a time where, you know, if she logged in and the credit card expenses were high, like she'd be like, oh, credit card. I'm like, whoa, whoa, stop attracting more expenses. Cut it out. Don't do that shit. That's not helping us. That isn't yeah. serving us, right? You see it, you deal with it. And, you know, and that's, that's, you know, you do what you need to do, but you don't need that feeling because that is a megaton bomb of show me more expenses, show me more things to be bummed out about, show me more things that says that the world is collapsing financially. And, and so you just, you just got to watch those, those things. Um, now that doesn't mean that, you know, if you're reaching out to someone that you, you get addicted to them calling you back. It's, you know, it's just, you're just not expressing that they won't. <laughs> you're right. just, you know, and so that's, that's the difference. I didn't have expectations. I would reach out to someone and I'm like, you know, if they reach out great, if not, that's fine too. And, but I would step into that feeling of, of being gold. What does that look like? How does, how do people can celebrate you and congratulate you? You know, what do you, do you wear your pen or is there a pen, right? Do you wear the ring or whatever, you know, whatever you get there. And mm -hmm. so, um, you know, if there's a, a certificate that you get at gold, you know, maybe I make up one and, but, you know, 
congrats, Sophia and Gold, and, and really feel that. And I don't feel it and then say, yeah, but that'll never happen because then my feeling wins. You see right. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Is this, does this help? Yes, because um, I, I was, I, I felt like I had all these different things that I couldn't figure out what was holding me back. But really, if I look at all those things, they're all that, they're just all that one, you know, it, it, they're all in one thing. And yeah, it is my belief. And it's the way that I talk to myself and the, that the way that I um, believe in, in I mean, both. Yeah, in the past, in the past, because that's not going to happen anymore. But um, yeah, it's 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 very eye opening and, and scary, you know, because it's been my life for so long. And um, but it's empowering to be able to, you know, see, see it for someone else, yeah. you know, rather than saying, I think it's this or this or this. Yeah. Well, the four, the four weeks of coaching will definitely help. Uh, for mm -hmm. sure, because you, you're going to have to work at it. I mean, you don't you don't wipe out decades old, you know, belief patterns and language patterns and just like poof, we're done in 20 minutes. Right. Amazing. Right. Um, so, you're, you know, you're going to have you're going to have to work at it. But just just I would focus on getting better. I would focus on two things, getting better at catching yourself of you about to say it. Like, oh, that doesn't serve me. Don't need to say it. We don't in the mm -hmm. past. I would say this and now much better. Um, and then two, uh, especially before you go to bed, you know, just really focusing on the feelings of having achieved gold without any caveats, without any yeah, buts, without any, do I really deserve it? Screw all of that and just see yourself, feel yourself being gold and, and send that to imprint on the subconscious and, and watch what happens. If you can do that without any caveats, without any yeah, buts then you're going to see some really cool stuff. Awesome. Well, I'm, right. I'm, I am up for it because awesome. I don't have a choice really. So, I mean, yeah. I have a and choice some, in my life, but I'm right. kind of in a pickle. Yeah. And, and, you know, and you may, you may look back at this and say, that's exactly what I needed. Like for me, I needed foreclosure. Foreclosure, right helped me tremendously, not at the time, but it, it helped me tremendously. And so we're rooting for you, Renee. Keep us in the loop, okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Awesome. You can find more great marketing, prospecting, and recruiting tips just like these over at rayhigdon.com. And remember to pick up your free copy of his 29 sources of network marketing leads. We'll see you over there.